the Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody. On this Monday morning, it is the 16th day of July. My name is Rich. It's 4 o'clock in the morning, and this weather pattern that we're stuck in continues where we have a heat index every day right around the 105 range, which is the danger range, and we have those big storms because big heat produces big storms, slow-moving storms that produce ridiculous amounts of rainfall. Some of you had flooding rainfall last night, and a lot of you have had somewhere in the vicinity of 4 to 6 inches of rain just over the weekend. Uh, which is pretty crazy. So today that pattern continues and guess what? A frontal system is on the way. Tomorrow the rain chances may actually be up a bit. What will that front do to, to the weather for the rest of the week? It's going to be a player. Spoiler alert, I don't think it's going to bring any heat relief, but it may affect the rain chances. Let's get going. Here's a look at Doppler rainfall estimates from last night showing uh, you know, a bullseye of 3 to 5 inches over there in Lowndes County. You see that? The airport had a record for July 15th with 2.82 inches. And between Montgomery and uh, Wetumpka, uh, Emerald Mountain had 3.39 inches. And today that trough that's promoting the storms will continue to stay in place. More slow-moving storms, more heavy rainfall totals, especially by late afternoon and into the early evening hours when the storms will reach their peak once again. So outside of storm areas... Uh, look for a high temperature around 93 with the heat index up to as high as 105 but scattered to numerous showers and storms will be around cooling off some lucky communities and the dog days of summer continue if you look at various sources you'll see different dates listed for the dog days but generally speaking july 3rd to august 11th for most sources and it has nothing to do with dogs really it has to do with the prominence of the um Canis Major in the uh, in the sky, the Dog Star Sirius. That's why it's called the Dog Days of Summer. A little trivia on the side there. Tomorrow is Election Day. Showers and storms will be widespread across the area. I think the chances are at least 70 to 80 percent, and that's because of that frontal system. You see, see that front just north of the uh, ten, the Alabama border in Tennessee, moving southward. That front will be a player. Uh, as the week goes on, there it is Wednesday morning. The front has moved into central Alabama with showers and thunderstorms focused along and south of the front. So the um, north Alabama may get a little break on Wednesday, but for uh, the rest of us, it's business as usual. And perhaps some fewer storms on Thursday, but the jury is out on that. The frontal system is uh, going to be somewhere in central Alabama on Thursday, and that should be the focus for more showers and storms. So we'll see how that all works out. Then on Friday, more scattered showers and storms. Uh, the European is trying to build something tropical, perhaps, right along the southeast coast on Friday. 70% uh, chance of showers and storms is what I have in for tomorrow on Election Day with a high in the lower 90s. And then still a decent chance, 50% Wednesday, 40% Thursday, and then 40% on Friday. So the rain chances will ease down a little bit, but the, the afternoon storms will still be around. There's post-subtropical storm Burrow, and that's a that's a... A lot to say. That's a lot of words. It's out there in the Atlantic, moving off to the northeast towards Nova Scotia. And in the rest of the tropics, the Atlantic, the Caribbean Sea, and the Gulf of Mexico, fairly quiet. I see a few flare-ups there in the deep tropics and off the coast of Africa as well. And what areas should we watch the next few days? Well, the European says just right off the southeastern coast later in the week. I showed you that feature. And then also coming off the coast of Africa. So we'll be watching uh, the tropics over the next few days. But right now, things are relatively quiet. Hey, if you're looking to get away from the rainfall, get away from the storms, come to my house. I've only had 0.81 over the last, uh, what, four days? And some of you had, had three times that amount last night or more. Have a good day today. I'll see you later. We'll be uh, uh, live on the radio this morning from 6 to 9 on News Talk 93.1 and live on TV on Channel 8 and Channel 32, the Alabama News Network. I do a weather chat at 5.50 a.m. And then we're live with our morning crew interacting with their morning crew at 6.40 a.m. Another video for you first thing tomorrow morning at 4.45 a.m. And your forecast when you're out and about across the dial twice an hour on eight radio stations. That's the Blue Water family of stations. All right. I'll see you later. Still looking for raindrops here. Rich Thomas Weather!